Hello everyone, Sweet Sour back at it again, and today we're going to quickly show you how to update your auras. It's not too difficult, it's obviously much easier than installing your auras. So we'll just quickly get right into it. This page here is for the Elemental and Resto aura compilations. And so at this point it's like, I don't know what step it is, but basically we're going to just um, look at the description here and it's telling us that as of the half an hour ago I updated the compilation and you can actually see the version so you can actually try to keep track of where you are so for example if you remember you downloaded version 5 and now you see that version 6 is up you have to do an update so Pretty, uh, pretty similar to installing. We're just going to copy the string if it decides to do that. All right, third time's a charm. So we're going to go into our weak cars, and obviously I have mine up already. And so what we do is we just right-click on it, and we go to Delete Children and Group. If you just do Delete, it's actually just going to delete the group itself, but not the auras inside. So at that point, if that does happen, you'll have to select every individual auras and then click delete all. So obviously, let's make it as easy as possible for you. And as I mentioned, delete children and group. So those are gone. And then you click new, you click import, you paste the string. And we're back to the latest version of the compilation. Pretty simple. Now, there is an alternative way to updating the auras. Now, say, for example, I updated one small thing, like one aura, and you don't want to go through the hassle of updating the entire compilation, which is understandable. So, for example, say I update just the hex aura. There was a bug in it or something, I had to fix it. And you have auras in there that you actually had modified, and updating the whole package would actually... Uh, whatchamacallit, it, it would uh, overwrite the changes you've made. So to kind of go around that, what you would do is you go down to this Dropbox here, Extract from Group, and you can actually extract separate auras found within the compilation. So we're going to click Hex, and it's going to pop open a window with its own import string, and similarly we're going to click Copy. Apparently it doesn't like it on the first try anymore. So now we're back into while. Go to New, go to Import, and Paste. And there you go, Hex. Now, the third way that you can do this is, say you don't mind updating the entire package, but you did make changes to hex. So what you would do before deleting this entire group is just click this button here. That's going to take it outside of the group. Now it's out here. So just for the sake of well, I guess you don't really need to rename it because once you bring in the whole package again, hex will be there, but it'll actually be named hex2. So that would actually allow you to see it and delete it. And then what you would do from there is click this little group arrow. It highlights all the groups that are available. See, nothing in here is highlighted because they're separate auras. And then you click on the group itself and it brings it to the very bottom. Now, I mean, you could, you know, do what I did just for organizational purposes and bring it all the way back to the top, but that's obviously up to you. And another reason why it, it could potentially be easier for you just to update the entire package. And that's really all there is to it. There's, it's fairly simple. It's much less difficult than actually installing the entirety of the compilations. So, as always, if you need to get a hold of me for any reason, comments, suggestions, bug notifications, you can get a hold of me. My Battle.net tag is SweetSour, hashtag 11996. You can also contact me through the World of Warcraft forums post. And uh, I really, I'm really enjoying this. I, I really enjoy seeing how many people are having fun with this who really like it. I look forward to any suggestions to make it better, and as I mentioned in a couple other videos, I am going to be starting the enhancement compilation soon. I just wanted to roll out the last little bit of features for Resto, because I was missing the 
earthen shield totem as well as the tidal waves progress bars so thanks again for watching and i look forward to seeing where this compilation goes from this point on thanks again guys and i'll catch you later take care